CES 2025 has started with a huge impact, and it's clear from the start. Are you ready to see how AI and tech are changing our lives? How are personal devices, gaming, cars, robotics, and even entire industries transforming with these technologies? Las Vegas is alive with excitement, hosting over 4,500 exhibitors from across the globe, all showcasing AI as the main attraction. Can you imagine? An immense area of 232,000 square meters is filled with innovative technologies that are pushing the boundaries of what's possible to a whole new level. NVIDIA is really capturing everyone's attention. When Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, walked onto the stage, you could sense that something exciting was about to happen. His speech was more than just a regular talk, it was like a glimpse into the future. NVIDIA introduced their latest GeForce RTX 50 series GPUs, which are built on something called the Blackwell architecture, already famous for being a big deal in technology. The details are impressive. Their main GPU, the RTX 5090, has 92 billion tiny parts called transistors and can perform over 3 trillion 352 billion AI tasks per second. Just to give you an idea, this new GPU is so powerful that it makes even the best GPUs from before look slow. The real shocker, though, was the price of the RTX 570, which is only $549. This GPU is as powerful or even better than the RTX 4090, which was known for being extremely powerful. It's amazing to get that much power for such a low price. It's not all about the raw power either. NVIDIA's new DLSS4 technology makes AI-powered graphics better by creating three extra pictures for every or every one picture it processes. This means games look smoother, more detailed, and are easier on your computer. This technology isn't just for gaming. It can help in other areas like architecture and filmmaking too. NVIDIA also introduced their Cosmos platform, which lets developers simulate real-world environments to train AI systems. This means that robots and self-driving cars can practice in these virtual worlds, learning how to handle difficult situations safely before they ever face them in real life. This type of simulation can save lots of time, money, and reduce risk. Instead of testing a robot in a real factory where it might cause expensive damage, Developers can now run thousands of tests safely in a simulated environment in just minutes. Talking about self-driving cars, NVIDIA's collaboration with Toyota has been a real eye-opener. Toyota's future cars will use NVIDIA's Drive AGX Orin supercomputer and Drive OS operating system, which will make their advanced driver assistance system smarter and more reliable. But Toyota's vision goes even further. They're creating a whole smart city called Woven City at the base of Mount Fuji, set to open later this year. It's meant to be a testing ground for AI, robotics, and self-driving cars. Toyota even announced plans for flying cars through their partnership with Joby Aviation. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's actually happening. AI is making its mark not just in cars, but across many fields. NVIDIA's approach to advanced AI, or agentic AI, really raises the bar. This isn't about simple chatbots or voice assistants. These AI systems can think, make plans, and act on their own. They're not just giving preset answers. They're solving problems as they happen. NVIDIA's AII blueprints allow companies to create custom AII solutions for things like spotting fraud, helping customers, or making supply chains more efficient. This is AI moving into roles that need real thought and flexibility. PCs are getting better quickly at CES. Big names like Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm are showing their newest processors with special parts called Neural Processing Units, NPUs, that handle AI tasks right on the computer. This makes things faster and safer because the data doesn't have to be sent over the internet to the cloud. Microsoft's Copilot Plus PCs go even further. 
with AI features that make talking to your computer feel more like a conversation than giving commands. Dell is also in on the action, with their AI PPCs that use Edge AI to manage data right on the device, making them quicker and more efficient. One of the most unexpected AI gadgets was from Roborock, a vacuum cleaner with a robotic arm that can pick up things like socks and shoes before it starts cleaning. The AI doesn't just help it move around, it helps it understand what's around it. And for those looking for extra comfort at home, there was Jenny, the robotic dog designed for people with dementia. Jenny listens to voice commands, feels touch, and can sit quietly on a lap for hours, offering company without the need for the care a real pet needs. Healthcare technology also stood out at CES. AI tools like AI Doc and NeuroClues are designed to enhance medical diagnostics and predict diseases with better accuracy. In the field of environmental tech, a company named Moluscan is doing something quite unique. They're using mollusks, yes, the sea creatures, to monitor water quality. These mollusks are fitted with sensors that alert us in real time if they detect pollution, showcasing a creative blend of nature and technology to solve real-world issues. The excitement didn't end there. NVIDIA introduced something called Project Digits, one of the most ambitious releases yet. It's a personal AI supercomputer that's small enough to sit on a desk, but powerful enough to handle 200 billion parameter models. Powered by the Grace Blackwell superchip, it combines a 1 petaflop FP4 computing capacity with 128 gigabytes of DDR5X memory. The fact that you can get this much power for about $2,000 is astounding. It's perfect for developers, creators, or anyone who wants to harness the full capabilities of AEI right from their home without depending on cloud services. The drive for physical AI, AI that interacts with the real world is leading to big advances in robotics. Jensen Huang referred to it as the chat GPT moment for humanoid robots indicating a major breakthrough. Unlike traditional wheeled robots that are built for specific settings, humanoid robots are designed to move and operate in environments where people live and work. Companies like Tesla and Figure Robotics are pushing forward in this field. NVIDIA's technology provides the simulation and processing power these robots need to train in virtual scenarios before they're ever built or used in real-world applications. NVIDIA also highlighted the importance of how AI models develop and improve. It's not just about feeding more data into these models, it's about how they process information more intelligently at every stage. During pre-training, they absorb huge amounts of data to create a base of knowledge. Post-training involves refining their abilities through advanced learning techniques, and during test time computing, these models can think through and solve complex problems instantly. This approach is fueling the development of next-gen models like Gemini, enabling AI to tackle advanced tasks such as PhD-level math, coding, and complex problem-solving that were previously out of reach. The amount of data being produced is truly astonishing, doubling every year. NVIDIA has come up with a smart solution to the limitations of real-world data by using synthetic data. This is especially useful for companies developing autonomous vehicles, which require highly varied and detailed data to ensure their systems are safe and reliable. While Tesla has millions of cars gathering data every day, most companies don't have that scale and rely on synthetic environments to compete effectively. In the automotive field, the push for AI is led by several key players. Mobileye, a part of Intel, has launched their surround AADAS system, which provides a 360-degree view to enhance road safety. They've gone a step further with their chauffeur platform, a fully autonomous driving system designed for services like ride-sharing. Imagine fleets of completely automated cars moving through the streets with pinpoint accuracy. CES 2025 has positioned AI at the heart of innovation across all industries. Whether it's gaming, robotics, healthcare, or home appliances, AI is the main driver of advancement. The first day brought a flood of new announcements, with much more expected. Is this pace of change too rapid, or is it simply the nature of progress? 
I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.